I am going to do access module 3, SAM critical thinking project 1C. Basically, this is the third module of access section of this course. I will do this assignment step by step, and you can get your assignment done by watching this complete video. If you want me to do this assignment for you, or if you want me to do this complete course for you, including all the access word, PowerPoint, Excel, or Outlook assignments, you can hire me either through WhatsApp or email. You can also hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, computer sciences, all other writing assignments, mathematics, statistics, etc. So, title of the assignment is Global Human Resource Consultants, and we are going to create queries, sorting records, changing the appearance of the data sheet. Getting started with the assignment, we are supposed to download the access file, this one. And I have already downloaded this one, and you can also download this from your C engage or school login. And this is the file where we will apply all the steps. We will apply all the instructions to get this assignment done. So you can download this one. Main part of the assignment is starting from the project steps. And total steps to solve in this assignment are 15. We are supposed to solve 15 steps in this assignment. Let's move to step number one. So step number one is, as a project manager at Global Human Resources Consultants, you need to be able to query the database to help make decision and answer the question from other managers. Create a query based on the consultant table that includes the consultant ID, last name, and the first name field. Sort the record by the last name field in the ascending order and then just save the query using the last name sorted as the query name and then close the query. So basically, we are supposed to create a query based on the consultant table. So I will click on the create and click on the query design. As this query is based on the consultant table, so I will add the consultant table here. Now we will start adding the fields. So we are supposed to include the consultant ID, last name, and the first name field. Consultant ID, last name field, and the first name field. Then sort the record by the last name field in the ascending order. Now we are supposed to sort the query by last name in the ascending order. So I will select ascending here. And then save the query using the last name sorted. Now we are supposed to save this query using the last name sorted. And close the query. Now we are supposed to close this query. So that is all about step number one of the assignment. So we have solved our step and now we are going to do next step that is step number two. Step number two is in the reside criteria query, remove the consultant ID field and select only the records where the reside field contains the value USA. Save and close the query. So now we will open the reside query. This one reside criteria query in the design view. And we are supposed to remove this field. That is the consultant ID. Select this one and delete this one. Now we are supposed to select only those records where the reside field is USA. So we will type USA in the criteria for the reside field. Save and close the query. So now we are supposed to save this one and we will close this one. So that is all about step number two. So we have solved second step of this assignment. So let's move to next step, that is step number three. So 
update the paired or balanced query to select only those records where the paired field value equals 0 or the balanced field value equals 0. Save and close the query or no records should appear in the query result. So now we will open the paired or balanced query in the design view. Paired or balanced query in the design view. And now we are supposed to apply the criteria. To this query and the criteria is select only those records where the paired field values equal to zero so we will make the paired field values equal to zero and then the second criteria is there is or option here and balance field equal to zero so now for the balance field we will type zero here and when we will run this query we can see there are four records here and that is already given in the instruction that four records should appear in the query result and you can see that we have four records in the query results and that is all about step number three of the assignment so we have completed three steps and i am doing this step by step for you so that you can solve this assignment on your own no we will move to next step that is step number four and there are three sub parts of step number four a b c so let's do step number four and step number four is make the following changes to the comparison salary query so we are supposed to make the changes to the comparison salary query so let me open the comparison salary query. Let's this one and open the comparison salary query. So it is saying that the add the first name field immediately following the consultant ID field. So after the consultant ID field, we are supposed to add the first name field. So we will drag it down and we will paste after the consultant ID field. And you can see that now we have the first name field after the consultant ID field. That is part A of step number four. Now let's do part B. Select only those records where the salary field value is greater than 70,000. Now we are supposed to select only those records where the salary field value is greater than 70,000. It means we are supposed to apply a uh, criteria to the salary field. This is the salary field and in criteria we are supposed to select only those records where the salary field is greater than 70,000. That is part B. Now let's do part C. Sort the record by last name in the descending order. So now we are supposed to apply a sorting and we are supposed to sort the record by last name field in descending order. So here is the last name field and we are supposed to sort this in the descending order. And then run the query. Now we are supposed to run the query. Added the first record by changing the first name value to this one Melody. Okay. And then confirm that query is that matches figure one, save and close the query. So now we will match this with the figure one. And you can see that our query results are exactly same similar to this figure one that is the comparison theory query results. And you can match it with the figure and we have same results. So that is all about step number four of the assignment. So we have solved four steps of the assignment. And now we are going to do next step, that is step number 5. So 
So let's do step number five now. And step number five is saying that make the following changes to the reside loss name query. So first we will open the reside loss name query, reside loss name query in the design view. Then we will make changes according to the instructions given in step number five. So part A is saying that move the reside so that it appear first in the query. So you can see that result field is the third one and we are supposed to move this so that it appears at position first. You can see that now result field is at position first as required in step number five part A. So now result field is the first position. So next thing, next thing to do is sort the records first in descending order by the reside field. So first we are supposed to sort the record in descending order by the reside field. So I will select the descending order in the reside field column. Then in ascending order by the last name and it should be sorted as in ascending order by the last name. So we will select ascending and the last name column in the sorting option. Save and close the query. The query should match the figure two when in the data sheet view. So let me match it with the figure two. And you can see that we have the same results as given in the figure two. That means we have completed step number five correctly. So our results are exactly same as given in the figure two. So we will save this one and we will close this one because we are done with step that was step number five. So we have completed five steps of this assignment so far and now we are going to do next step that is step number six. And step number six is update the balance and paid query to select only those records where the paid field value equals zero and the balance field values equal zero. Save the changes to the query and close the query. Once record should appear in the query result. One record should appear in the query result. So now we are supposed to apply criteria to the balance and paid query to the balance and paid and balance field. So first we will open the balance and paid query in the design view. Balance and paid query is here. Open this in the design view. And then we are supposed to select only those records where the paid field values is also zero and the balance field values are also zero. So balance and balance field value is zero and the balance field value is also zero. So when we will run this query, we will have only one record where the balance field value is zero and the paired field value is also zero. So these both fields are zero as required in step number six of the assignment. So we have completed six steps of the assignment. Let's do step number seven now. And step number seven is saying that update the date time query to select only those records where the start date field 
value is greater than 1 1 2019 save and close the query 15 records should appear in the query results so first we are supposed to open the time date time query date time query so we will open the date time query in the design view so now we are supposed to select only those records where the start date field value is greater than 1 1 2019 so start date is here we are supposed to apply the criteria it should be greater than 1 1 2019 and when we will run this query we will have 15 15 records and you can see that we have 15 records as already mentioned in step number 7 15 records should appear in the query result as mentioned in step number 7 so basically we have completed 7 steps and total steps to solve in this assignment are 15 from and out of 15 steps i have solved 7 steps but if you want me to do this complete assignment for you or if you want me to do this complete course for you including all the excel access powerpoint word or outlook assignments you can hire me either through whatsapp email that is mentioned in the mentioned in the description of this video and also showing at the bottom of this video you can also hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, computer sciences, or writing assignments, mathematics, statistics, etc. So thank you so much for watching my video. I request you to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and if you have any question, you can contact me either through WhatsApp or email. Please feel free to contact me anytime. And you can hire me anytime. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will get back to you with another useful solution. Thank you so much again.